Artists and Crafts online video, Romare Bearden. Action! Hi Artists and Crafts families, Miss Jackie here. Today's artist is Romare Bearden. Romare Bearden was an African American artist and writer best known for his textural collages. You may remember him from our video where we created our version of his famous piece, The Block. We are revisiting him today in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was the leader of the Civil Rights Movement. He was an American Baptist minister, activist, and humanitarian. He stood up for African American rights and gave a voice to many who did not have one. Dr. King advanced civil rights through nonviolence and civil disobedience. He helped organize the 1963 March on Washington, where he delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. Bearden's piece, Mountaintop, captures Dr. King's dynamic leadership. This art was inspired by another speech he gave. This one on April 3, 1968, the day before he was assassinated. He warned the crowd to anticipate difficult days ahead and declared, but it doesn't matter with me now because I've seen the mountaintop and I've seen the promised land. He continued, I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. In today's project, we will honor Dr. King and recreate this powerful work of art. We're rolling. For this project, you'll need papers in blues and purples, glue, Scissors. Scissors. And our artists and crafts template. Today's project is in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. So we are being inspired by Ramir Bearden's work called Mountaintop. We first created this project when we hosted an art celebration on Martin Luther King Day at our favorite gym, Chelsea Fitness in Brooklyn, New York. As with all of our projects, artists of any age can do them and really level up as they get older. On this specific day, most of our kiddos were of elementary school age, so we allowed them to use scissors and cut out silhouettes of themselves. To help you create this at home, we created an artist and crafts printout that includes a silhouette of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You could either use this one or cut out your own. How's that look? So we cut out a silhouette for Georgia, and for mine, I'm just gonna do it right on the template that I printed out. It will be a little tricky to get around here, so if you wanna cut it out and then glue it on top, you can, but I'm just gonna put it right on this piece of paper. Time to get ripping. Hiya. Simply cut or tear your paper into strips. You can make them all different sizes and shapes. Notice the mountains in the original. It's fun to experiment with how you layer your paper before you glue it down. You can also add anything you'd like to the sky. Bearden has a sun and some clouds. I also like when you rip it and you can see this white edge. Do you like that? I like that look. Okay, so I'm just gonna rip and then layer it and then kind of just go as glue as I go. And also, to make it look like when you're doing the mountain, to make it look more like a mountain, you can crumple it up and then gently unfold it and smooth it out a little bit so it has like the texture Ooh, of the mountain. That's a good one. Then, all you need to do is glue it down. You can use white glue or a glue stick for this. Oh, this is fun. I know, it's fun to wear a jacket. Ooh, check out this piece. Like the real sky. Yeah. Can you zoom in? Yeah. Look how cool it looks. Whoa. It looks like a ribbon or something. It's fun to try to cover up the entire paper. I like seeing how the different colors look next to each other. It's pretty fun, right? Mm -hmm. So I use some crayons. Um, to kind of fill in so I didn't have to rip my paper and get it to be right just because I was using this piece of paper. So I just used some crayons. So to make it look a little bit more consistent, I'm gonna add a little bit of crayons up here too. So this project basically has two steps. One, rip the paper. Two, glue the paper down. It's that easy. And you could also talk a little bit about Martin Luther King Jr. and how he made the world a better place. 
While we're making this project, we like to think about Dr. King's dream and his hopes for the future. Ask yourself what you hope for for your future and ask your kiddos the same thing. Now think about different ways that you can get active today in your community to make this world a little bit better. Martin Luther King Jr. changed the world. Oh, and he made a speech called I have a dream. He says, I have a dream. What was his dream? His dream was for everything to be fair. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream, he said, I hope that one day my kids are judged by the content of their character, meaning like what's on the inside, and not by the color of their skin, what's on the outside. That was his dream. One of the reasons that I love Martin Luther King Jr. is because he demonstrated with nonviolence. So instead of getting mad and hurting people, he used um, protest and speeches and different things to- Instead of getting mad and hurting people, he got mad and made a speech. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And there you go, a Romere Bearden inspired tribute to Martin Luther King Jr. And don't forget, we want to see how yours turned out. So be sure to tag us on Instagram, at Artists and Crafts. Send me an email, jack at lovejack.com. Or join our online Zoom class. We're now teaching Wednesdays at 3.30 or Thursdays at 10 a.m. Happy, Happy creating. creating. We'll see you soon. <laughs>